Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your full moon in Aquarius energy read. We're going to talk about what's being released, what shadow aspects are being transformed, what's being activated within you, um, and we're going to use the tarot of sexual magic and things like that to see what's going on in your life, how this what this full moon is bringing into fruition, bringing to light, and some messages from spirit at the end. I'm going to read a little bit from astrologyking.com. I was guided to it, and it, um, I'm just going to read a little bit about this full moon. Sun opposite moon brings your home, family, and intimate relationships into sharper focus for the following two weeks of this moon phase. Opposing forces such as work versus home or what you need versus what you want create inner tension and external pressures. This can lead to conflict and crises that drain your energy. The lunar qualities of emotions and instincts reach their peak at the full moon. So use your increased emotional strength and intuition to overcome any relationship challenges. Subconscious awareness allows for an impartial and balanced look at your personal relationships. You will clearly see any relationship dynamics or negative feelings ca causing disharmony. So it's just going to bring any everything into um, clarity for you is what I'm feeling. Like, you know, Aquarius is air, truth, and clarity coming in um, that you that is necessary for you. Sometimes we don't want the truth and clarity that comes in, but it's necessary for us to have to move on. Maybe it's something, someone's mirroring us, and it's something inside ourselves that needs to be healed. I always look at my divine partners, my soulmates, my friends, my family members when so they're going through something or when something's presented to me that's a little stressful. I have to ask myself, what are they showing me about me? What needs to be healed and transformed within me? Because people that love us, that are in our life, they mirror us just as we mirror for them. So just remember that and be open to it. Be open to it being a learning experience because having contrast and obstacles and challenges in our path helps us be stronger and know what we want. And it really makes us who we are. If we didn't have any of that, I mean, come on, think about it. If you just had a yes man or a yes woman and that's it and nothing was ever, you didn't learn anything and you weren't growing and you weren't pushed out of your comfort zones, you get bored. I mean, I know I do. So uh, I'm just saying, just look at it as a learning opportunity is what spirit wants you to do. And be open to the clarity that's coming in with this full moon. So we're, we're going to get started with the um, architect cards by... Carolyn Mice or Miss M-Y-S-S. And we're going to see what in this full moon for the general collective. So as always, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. See how things transpire. Give it a chance. Um, and, you know, take, take what your truth is. And time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Whenever you're guided to this, whether it's near a full moon or on a full moon or not, this is the perfect time for you. So what's being transformed, spirit? What shadows are being transformed? The exorcist. The shadow that's being transformed is fear of facing your own demons. So you're give, being given the opportunity to face your fears. To look at them in the face and say, you are so incredibly false to me. This is not even what I... I just, I don't even resonate with you anymore. And bringing it to the light, freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. So by you facing your own demons, your addictions, your codependencies, you, whatever it is, your obsessive thinking, it, it can be different for everybody, but it's facing those fears, facing your inner demons. You're strong enough to do so. The moon is going to illuminate these for you so you can see the truth about yourself that you have the power, you have the control to free yourself. You have the power control over yourself, the way you think, what you do, and how you react. We don't have control over others, but we surely have control over ourselves. And Spirit wants you to take control of this and face your fear. And once you face it, you're going to realize how easy it was to move through it. But sometimes it just takes us looking in the mirror and facing it. So that's what's being released. That's what's being transformed if you allow it to in this full moon. Spirit's asking you to look at that. Um, beggar. The shadow attribute is dependence on others to 
to the exclusion of effort. So it's like having this over-reliance on others to do things for you, to make things happen for you, to decide for you, being complacent, not really taking charge, not having the passion, right? Just always wanting others to do for you and you just, you know, put in the bare minimum. Well, that's being transformed. You need to, like, it's time to release that. It's time to release those codependencies that we just talked about. And that is being codependent on other people. And if you're the person who's allowing these codependencies, it's time to set boundaries and allow this person, whoever this person is, to learn on their own. Because if we keep doing things for people and we keep making decisions for people and we don't allow them, like if it's children or someone that just needs to learn, it could not be a child, it could be an adult that acts like a child. It's just, it's time to say no and say you need to do this on your own now we can only lead the, them to water lead the horse to water so many times it's up to them if they want to drink so the light attributes of this of what it's transforming into is confronts empowerment at a level of physical survival awakens the spiritual authority of humility compassion and self-esteem so this is waking up seeing the truth that's what this whole thing is doing and sometimes it is uncomfortable then we have to admit to ourselves damn I am dependent on that person I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for their text to come in and that's going to make me happy like that's going to make my day and I'm going to dwell in it until it doesn't happen no you make your day you create your reality so it's time to face those fears and move through them the engineer the shadow as, uh, attribute is reliance on the mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. Yeah, this is just like a robot, like programmed. Well, I know this works, so I'm just going to keep doing it. I'm not going to, I'm going to be emotionless and boring and have nothing to bring to the table because I'm not connected to my emotions. I'm not judging it. I'm just saying that this, that's what they're telling me. This is the energy. Like in, in just not coming up with solutions yourself, not going after your passions, not connecting to your heart space, and, and, and not really caring about how it affects other people. Like having an utter disregard. This is like having, I'm just going to do it my way, and I don't give a flying F how it affects anyone else. You know, sometimes you got to think about how, what the consequences are. So it's releasing that and transforming it into the light and the, the ability to give creative energy a practical expression talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So it's opening yourself up to there's other ways. There's other ways to get to this truth. There's other ways to accomplish this goal. And when you put some love and compassion into it, wow, it's so much better. And people receive it in such a better way, in such a more positive, beautiful way. Father. The shadow attributes of the father are dictatorial control, abuse of authority. I know people like this that live in this energy. They think they can control everyone, narcissistic tendencies. I can control you. I can tell you what to do. I don't think so. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are my father or a father figure or a stepfather or you are the father of my child. You are not doing that. I don't think so. So it's transforming this into being having a talent for creating and supporting life, encouraging life, empowering our children, empowering others, positive guiding light with, within a tribal unit, like really being a positive guiding light, not trying to tell people what to do and dictate. So it's, it's you know, have that abuse of authority. You have this opportunity to release that. If you have people in your life that are abusing their authority, it's time to um, release that. And they told me to look at the bottom of the deck, and I do have to share it because social media is, uh, is so prevalent these days, and it can be so damaging and so confusing and so um, just not true. People put out this false persona. Uh, so allow these to transform, and the networker as well. The shadow attributes of the networkers conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. This is why I don't watch the news, okay? Some of you may watch the news and that's great, but this is why I don't watch the news. I don't want to know about every horrible thing that's going on in the world. I know that there's people in the world that are low vibrations doing these things. I know because I have people in my life that are going through this. I'm going through this. My daughter is going through this. I know that these people are out there and I don't want to know more about it. I want to hear about the positive things. I want to hear about how people are changing the world. I want to use this channel to help people heal, to empower people, to make their own decisions and go after their own life 
and you don't need readers anymore and you don't need a healer anymore because you are the healer and you are the reader of your own life. That's what I want to do. So it's networking and, and spreading the light, enhancing, enhances unity through the sharing of information and get, engenders social awareness and empathy. So bringing people to awareness of who they really are, bringing people to awareness of what's important to focus on. And that's the love in our life. That's sharing love, having compassion, sharing our resources, our resources, our wisdom, our time. That's what we need to be doing with this, spreading the love instead of spreading the hate. So that's what's being transformed. If you want it to be transformed, you just allow it and say, yes, please let me let go of this and, and see the light in this. Because all shadows are all a part of us. We all have shadow attributes. All of us do. But they can be transformed into the light and used for good. They absolutely can. They're part of us. And that's, that's the way to bring ourselves into balance, into true balance and know who we really are, is to use the shadows to our advantage. We're going to use the sacred geometry cards and see what's being activated right now in the general collective. What's being activated with this clarity that's coming in with this full moon that we're in the energy right now of, by the way. Okay, right away. Healing. There you go. And it's a, and it's a, it adds up to be 11. This is new beginnings, new beginnings and being healed. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. So it's imperative that you allow yourself to heal, that you take the time to work through these shadows, to dive into your emotions, allow a healer or someone that, that has been through it to help you through the process. Open your heart space. Allow this healing to happen because the universe is activating healing within you. And when you live in that healing energy, that, that energy of unconditional love, you spread that outward to the universe. Ooh. Allowance, the number nine. We're entering the ninth month. Maybe that means something to you. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Yes, it's time to allow yourself to receive this love. Allow yourself to receive this healing. Allow yourself to receive the abundance that you so greatly deserve. Allow yourself to come into balance. And look, all this beautiful green energy, all this heart healing. Your health coming, being restored right now. Communication is being activated right now. Blessed changes are on the way. The frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth to stay in the flow of source and balance exchange. Exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. Bringing everything into balance, living from that place of unconditional love, speaking, feeling, hearing, doing everything from our heart space and communicating, speaking our truth, reaching out to others, sharing our story, sharing your comments on this channel, helping people heal. It's so important and you are so important. What you have to share is important. Speak your truth. Open yourself up. Ooh, earth, mother earth. Look at all that beautiful green energy and the throat chakra activated. Speak in your truth. The frequency of earth activates our deep connection to this physical plane by showing us the beauty of all aspects of our great mother and revealing the more ethereal spiritual aspects of our nature connecting with Mother Earth, connecting with her vital energy to help bring us into balance. Go out in nature, meditate, take a walk, a hike, breathe that fresh, beautiful, free air that we get and appreciate the beauty, appreciate Mother Earth, help take care of her, nurture her because she is sharing with you the truth about who you really are, the spiritual being that you are. You are a spirit living in this human world. You chose this body for a reason. You chose this life and these people and these experiences for a reason. 
It's your opportunity to heal and to grow, eat more fruits and vegetables, I'm hearing. Just really connect with nature. Plant a garden. Plant a tree. Hug a tree. It helps. Is there anything else here? Any more card being activated? Anything else here? Activated. Okay. Ooh, yes. Another five. Bless changes. The Merkaba. Oh, yeah. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to trans to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. Oh yes, traveling to other dimensions. It activates our access to the Akashic inheritance as well, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. Yes, that's bringing it all together. You'll be traveling, it's being activated in your meditations, your dreams, you are going to other dimensions. You are retrieving information from the Akashic records, from your book of life, from all the life experiences that you have, and you're bringing it into this life and using all of that wisdom of infinite intelligence that's available to every single one of us. Allowing yourself to heal, bringing healing to others, allowing yourself to receive, communicating clearly, connecting with Mother Earth, and then spirit in all forms, working with you, the ascended masters, the elementals, aliens, what, everything, the whole universe working with you and activating this power inside of you to really live your best life and follow your divine path and plan and live in your highest purpose. That's all being activated with this full moon. Wow, that is incredible. Let's get a little bit more information of what's going on here. This truth and clarity that's coming in. And these are the wisdom of the house of the night cards. Let's see as a general collective. What are their messages? What's going on? What are we needing to release and transform? What is the information coming through this clarity? Individuality. New beginnings. It's 11. It's, it's safe to be you. To be truly, authentically you. Taking off the mask. Flying that weird flag Hi, whatever it means to you, being you, using those creative gifts and talents that you know are within you and sharing them with others. It's safe and good and wonderful to be you. And look at this, 9, 10, 11, and then an 11 underneath it. So 11, 11, divine union within yourself and divine partnership coming in because you're being yourself, because you're being an individual and you're stepping out of the box. You're bringing these new beginnings to you. Yeah, you've been wishing, you've been praying, you've been manifesting. And what Spirit is saying is it's the end of these cycles of just wishing and things are starting to come into fruition. If you just open your heart and your arms to receive all the wishes that you've been wishing for are starting to come true and you're going to start seeing physical manifestation of it. Spirit speaking to you, you know. And no, look at this. Again, reflection, reflecting on your emotions, reflecting on what you've learned. Invisible, feeling invisible, feeling like it doesn't matter, like you, your thoughts don't matter. They do matter. You're no longer invisible anymore. It's time to step out of the box and be yourself and show the world who you are. And be playful with your approach. Fours are all about stability. Stability is coming. Fun times, being flirty, getting out, going to parties, going on vacations, dancing, whatever it means being playful. It's a little kitten nurturing your inner child. It's giving you the ability to see things differently and really be yourself and express yourself in this playful way. Look at life from a, a playful, humorous standpoint. See things from a spiritual point of view. They're never going to get drop down to the lower vibration negativity, the lower vibration energies. They're always going to look at it from fresh, positive, loving eyes. And it's the spirits encouraging you to see yourself in this way. Nurture that inner child. 4 plus 4 is 8. That's a uh, twin flame. I already saw, I already got the 11 and 11. So that's being activated. It's your soulmate coming in. And it's, you know, also 11s are about leveling up, mastership, becoming the master of your own reality, creating. 8s are about creating infinite possibilities to create the life that you want. Transformation, blessings are coming in. You've got another 8 right after that. Wow, the strength card. Okay, you're strong enough. Your spirit's helping you. You've got what it takes. 
you can do this. You can step out of the box. You can stop being invisible and show the world who you really are. And it's going to be wonderful and have fun with it. And like I said, plant a tree, something about trees. Maybe go sit near a tree um, and there's an owl sticking his little face out there. That's the wisdom that you're gaining. These Akashic records that are opening. You're getting this, this wisdom from the universe that's coming down to help you heal, to help you feel strong and sturdy and stable in your life. Fours are about stability, and that's the confirmation of that. Here you go. Success. All these changes, all the things you're doing, congratulations. You've made it. You've made it. This is a success. All the work that you've been putting into your life, everything that you've been doing, all the, the soul journey, going to the deep, dark depths of your emotions, to overcome these things, to face your fears, it's successful. You are a success. Take a playful approach. Be easy on yourself. It's time for you to step into the light and share your truth and wisdom with others. To be in alignment with who you really are and live your best life and have some fun doing it. This is all available to you to overcome these things. Spirit's encouraging you to be truly you. Birds speak your truth. Have fun. Go out in nature. Congratulations. Congratulations that you've made it this far. Congratulations that you're still around and you're listening to these videos. You want to expand. You are waking up to who you really are. This is all part of the process and you're on the right path. All right, now we're going to get into the tarot of sexual magic. I will be releasing um, the all signs, and it's a really fun uh, release. It was really fun for me. It takes a lot of time and energy, though, so I commend you if you're a reader, too, because it does take time, and it does take a lot of energy to do these readings, but I absolutely love it, and I will be releasing those soon this weekend, but I wanted to make sure to get this video out now. So be looking for those. All right, what do we got here? Well, I don't read the reversals, but I am going to. We're going to talk about this. Okay, the five of cups, right? Thinking about the past, dwelling in what hasn't worked out. You Typically, it's three cups spilled, and there's like two cups still standing. When you see this one, there's a little cup here, and there's a full big old cup here. But it's like you're not seeing it because you keep thinking about the past. You keep thinking about what hasn't worked out. What, you know, I don't know, some of these energies up here not being fully satisfied, needing to transform these thoughts into more positive thoughts um, about yourself, that you have your own cup always. You have your own cup to fill, your own cup to share with others, your own cup to love and yourself. And there is another person wanting to offer you something and you're just not seeing it. And what what's happening is because you're dwelling in the past, you've blocked this ship from coming in. You block this union. You're blocking this union by staying stuck in the past. You're blocking this Ace of Swords, this brand new beginning of some kind of kinky excitement is all I got to say. But you're blocking this clarity from coming through because you're dwelling so much in the past. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to transform this now. This is what's being transformed is you're going to get this clarity and truth that's going to come in and you're going to be open to it now because you're activated now to be open to it. So you're going to get this clarity and truth, these new beginnings, what you need to do to take your power back and to move forward and make the choice that's best for you. And the three of wands as your ship's coming in. Finally, this faded, look at those red, you know, red ribbons of fate. Like this is destined and faded union and it's coming together. Finally, the ships are coming in. Threes are about celebrating how far you've come, celebrating who you are, your individual, unique, beautiful self. But if we stay dwelling in the past and we don't allow these shadows to transform and we don't allow the universe to bless us and we don't speak our truth, we can certainly, you can stay in that energy as long as you want. You have the choice, but I mean, I'm going to give you encouragement to look at the cups that are filled, take control, use this truth and clarity that's coming in so that, so that you can allow these ships to come forward to you, this divine union to come forward to you. Yes, look at this. The wheel is turning in your favor. The wheel is turning in your favor. You're ending cycles and moving forward. This is that new beginning that you've been wanting. But it takes action and effort to step out of the box and get, keep this wheel turning. And look what you're moving into. This is brand new, fresh energy. This is taking that leap of faith that you know that you is calling to you. 
fully healed and restored with the snake, moving away from the past, relationships that didn't work out, situations that didn't work out, going anywhere you want to go. It's time to take that leap of faith because it's leading you to ultimate wish fulfillment. Healing. This is, this is, this is the Aquarius card, right? And it's the Aquarius full moon. How wonderful that this comes in to remind you that this is the star card. You are the shining star. Your wishes are coming true. You are healed. And you have this beautiful cup of love to pour upon your divine partner, to share with your divine partner. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Whoa. Those just fell all over the floor. Give me one second, please. Well, we have the emperor here. The emperor showed himself. And then over here. Wow. Talk about Dustin and Faded. Holy Christ. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So we have the emperor here. This is taking control of your life. This is uh, standing in your power. This is the divine masculine in his full power, balanced. And it looks like he's just in awe of, his, of the divine feminine. If you're a divine feminine listening, this is you taking on the emperor. You are the empress. You are the emperor of your life. This could be your divine partner that you're walking towards. could be the emperor. Established, stable, focused, makes decisions. And, and I'm going to be funny right now. Um, and, you know, excuse the language, but, you know, some people like big dick energy. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that taking charge like that. I've got it. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it like this. I've got this. You're my, you're my empress. I'm the emperor and this is our empire. And that's what I'm feeling right now. What you're needing to walk away from, they're, they're telling me to rearrange these a little bit, but is, is this heartache, this loss, this is, this is goes, you know, getting some clarification here. This is that heartache and loss, the things that didn't work out. There might have been someone like like trying to put spells on you or trying to get in the way of your union, a third-party situation. Not necessarily a lover, but it could be a mother, a sister, an ex, whatever it is. There was someone always getting in the way, and that's why it didn't work out. And so dreaming of what you really want not really paying attention to this masculine. That's not what you want. You don't want to be in this bothersome energy. It's like manifesting what you do want, walking away, walking away from what's not serving you. This is that four of cups, right? You know, not seeing what's right in front of your face, dwelling in this, you know, what hasn't worked out, not seeing the offers being made. It's like, no, I learned all I can. I learned what I can. Let's leave now. And this could be you coming into balance with your divine feminine and masculine within and moving forward, right? Fours are all about stability. Or this can be you moving forward with your partner. Like, we're done with this energy. We're going to get away from this mother-type energy, sister-type, ex-type energy, whatever it is. You're walking away together in union. You're walking away, and you're walking away, right? I mean, I just have to show them all together because we already talked about these red uh you know, red ribbons around this faded destined union. Well, I'm going to show you the confirmation of that. It's the four of wands. This is everything. This is 1111. We already saw the 1111 here, and thank you, Spirit, for confirming and falling to the ground, making this really important. But this is stability coming in. This is 1111. This is divine union coming in with your true divine partner. And it's passionate. It's passionate. It's erotic, it's exotic, it's very freeing. Horses are freedom, riding you into freedom, maybe literally riding you into freedom, having fun, going swinging on swings, having, um, you know, just feeling free, being naked outside, wherever you feel comfortable doing that. It's just very passionate, very connected. Every, every a divine union, it's divine union, and you're doing this together. You're, I'm, they're telling me you're walking this path of the fool together. Because you are one another's wish fulfillment. This is the emperor. Like finally, he, you can tell he's looking at the empress. Like I finally have my empress. That's this feeling. I'm the emperor. You're the empress. And let's do this. Let's have fun together. Let's go on horseback riding, you know, you know, in the, in the fields. Let's go have sex on a swing outside. I mean, whatever it is. And look at this. Confirming. Destined and faded. This is the judgment card. This is the red strings of fate. This relationship, this union has been destined well before you came into this physical reality. 
You agreed to this well before you came into this physical reality. This union is divine. This union is strong, is stable, and is meant to be. Ten, ten, tens all over the place. It's time to wipe the slate clean, leave the past behind. Everything that you've been manifesting is being healed and coming into reality. Just speak your truth and move forward with this confidence. It's time to step out of the box. Have fun. Flirt. Be playful. Enjoy this passion. Open yourself up to this union because it's available to you. Take control of your life. A dominatrix is a beautiful energy taking control. I want what I want and I'm going to go after what I want and I'm not going to let anything get in the way. I'm not going to let my past get in the way from what I want. I have my clarity and truth now and divine union is what I want. And we're going to walk away and we're going to do this together and we're going to create our empire together because you are my destiny. Beautiful. I'm so happy I did this reading. I hope that you enjoyed this. I would love to see, hear your comments about what this full moon is bringing up for you as far as ne things needed to be transformed. And just know that when you communicate clearly and you're in balance yourself and you're speaking your truth from your heart-centered, heart-healed place, it will lead you to your destiny. You are on the right path. Just keep going. There's so much love for you. And I appreciate all the support on my channel, the likes, the subscriptions, the comments, because that's what keeps it going. That's what helps it grow because all of you are helping me live my dream. And I am praying and manifesting and intending blessings for all of you. Blessings of abundance, blessings of love, blessings of health, blessings of healing in every aspect that you need healing. I'm sending that to you right now. All you have to do is say yes and receive it for your highest and best. Thank you so much. I love you all.